Okay, so let's see what the range is of each of those indicators. What is the range between uh, 0 and 14 for methyl orange? Remember it changed for us on an acid and it didn't change on the base. So we're going to know, we're going to look for its range somewhere around the acid end of the scale. What is the range for bromthymol blue? And remember that bromthymol blue also had a change around the acid, but not around the base. So we're going to look at it around an acid change. And then the last one was phenylphthalein. It had a change at the basic end. Remember, nothing happened at the acid end, but something happened at the very basic end. The most basic thing we're testing is pH 13. So something happened at the very basic end. So we'll look for the range on the base end for phenylphthalein. So let's start with methyl orange, and we're going to test each one of these pHs that we have, those odd number pHs that we have. We're going to take one drop of methyl orange to wells one through seven, because we have seven bottles of pH to test. Okay, so that's wells one through seven. We've got one drop of methyl orange in each one. And now we're going to add each of the pHs, one drop of pH 1, one drop of pH 1 to the first well. Okay. We'll add one drop of pH 3 to the next well. Remember, we're just testing methyl orange to see if it reacts in an acid or a base, and we already know it's going to react with an acid. So we're still in acids. We're in pH number 5. Remember, acids go up to 6.999. So we're at pH 5. And we're going to test with that one drop. Okay. We've got pH 7. One drop. All right, pH 9, pH 11, and our last one is pH 13, the most basic. Uh, and the most basic that we have. Oops, I was getting ready to put it in the wrong well. There we go. So you can see, based on this experiment, where we've added it to pH uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. So where did we get a color change? Where did we get a color change? Remember that methyl orange is orange. So where it's not orange in this tray is where there was a color change and where methyl orange reacted to the pH that was introduced. So where did it react? We know that there was a color change at the first well. And we know there was a color change at the second well. Can you see that? This third, fourth, and all the way to the end of the seven wells didn't have any change. So we do have a methyl orange turning red. And if you'll recall in our original experiment, red was what methyl orange changed to when it touched pH 1. So there it is again. And we could still say that this was a pink or a lighter red. So we're still in the spectrum for acids and methyl orange. And then here, with this one, this was 5, so a pH of 5, eh, it's still orange. So pretty much the reaction stopped happening at 5. So we had a reaction at pH 1, and we had a reaction at pH 3. So methyl orange reacts with pH 1 and pH 3, those are acids. And then it doesn't have any reaction further up the pH scale. So we would say that methyl orange's range was in pH 1 and pH 3. That would give us a range probably
probably from zero, but we could just say the range is from uh, one to three. So that is our pH. And again, I'll just show you here. We use these two pHs. So the range where there was a color change is between one and three. We could probably assume that zero, a pH of zero with lots of hydrogen would also uh, detect it. So you could say the range is from zero to three, but definitively you can say here that there was a color change between one and three. There was no color change for methyl orange after that.